G'day YouTubers, uh, today I've got a, uh, a beer, I'm going to leave the recipe uh, in the comment section, uh, it is from my good buddy Jared Safel for Fermentation Nation, I'll leave a link to his uh, YouTube channel, formerly Heavy Rift Beer, he, he owns the Heavy Rift Beer Brewing Company, and uh, I'm just uh, adding my strike water bringing that up to heat and uh, let's get on with the brew day. I've got a zest, an orange, a couple of three or four oranges until I've got uh, 30 grams. Okay so we're gonna add our strike water. the smallest grain bill I've ever used. I'm sure it'll be fine. Now one-handed. And there's all sorts of different ways of going in, but uh, today I'm going to do some dumper all in. Dumper all in. And look at that, we were aiming for 67, and we've just, just gone slightly over. Isn't that brilliant? So I'm going to leave that now, I'm going to get on with zesting the lemon, and, uh, the uh, oranges, and uh, I'll get back to you when we're at the next stage. There we go, we've finished with the orange zest, and uh, our mash temperature 15 minutes in is still at 67.3 so we're holding temperature very well cheers okay so this is what we've got we've got uh, the orange zest we've got manuka honey we've got 20 grams of uh, centennial for bittering 30 of Amarillo, 30 of, well, 35 because that's what I had of uh, Centennial, and 60 grams of Mosaic for the uh, dry hop, and two packets which I'm going to rehydrate of USO5. So, yeah. Okay, so we're at the fall off pro process, and we'll 
just get these running if you want them clear. It takes about two litres, maybe three. And then I will cut the video and I'm just going to batch sparge. Um, so I won't show you all that because you've seen it all before. We'll see if we reach our target volume. Okay. You've seen all that. Just to give you an idea of the, uh, the colour we're getting. Pretty nice colour, but that's the first runnings, so it's going to be a little lighter on the second runnings. Okay, so the wort is in, the elements are on, we've hit our target. I had to fly sparge about a litre just to get my pre boil gravity uh, levels, and um, yeah, we'll get back to it with the first top editions. Okay, we're back. Now we've got the uh, first top edition, which is 20 grams of Centennial, which I always put in a hot bag. I don't think there's much difference. The only thing is it helps, helps to keep it nice and clear. It. I'll start my boil timer for 60 minutes and Bob's your uncle. Okay, we've got 30 grams of uh, Amarillo going in at 15 minutes. is 30 grams of Centennial and uh, I'm going to rehydrate my yeast rehydrate my yeast Two packs of USO5. At 11.5 grams each.
good. Okay. One teaspoon of Irish moss. And one water to add. No, I don't put the Irish moss in a um, in the muslin bag. I just dump it straight in. Good healthy teaspoon. much straight away back to the boil. It's slowed the boiling down a wee bit but it's pretty good. We're just about done guys. Okay so we've got our 30, well I've actually got 35 grams, but our 30 grams of uh, the recipe called for of Centennial. Oh shit. There we go. At five minutes. And orange zest, which I'm gonna dump straight in. I'm not actually going to put that in the, the hop with the hops. And there it goes. There we have it. Now let's see what volume we're at. Pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. I think we're maybe 21 and a half litres and it called for 20.8. Anyhow, we'll get on with uh, the task at hand. Oh shit.
seems I forgot the honey. But never fear, ingenuity's here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drain off a couple of litres of the wort, uh, boil it up on the, on the stove in the kitchen, and uh, add the honey to it, cool it down and add it back to the uh, to the um, to the wall. so we'll get on with that okay so we've managed to uh, dissolve the honey boiled it for five minutes in about two liters of uh, wort cooled it back down Let's see what temperature we're at now It's pretty good. It's gone up half a degree. Right, let's take a gravity sample. And I always tip the first one back in. Just what we've got. This will be interesting. Uh, 1.06. Six. Six. 1.060. Let's have a look and quickly see what it should be. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Uh, ah. Wow. One point oh sort of 5960 and the recipe said that it would be 1.056 so I'm quite happy with that we did our sanitized fermenter And if you have a look down in there, it gets fairly well aerated. It's a pretty decent aeration. I'm going to see how much volume I've got at the end of this, to be fair. Because I could be a little short. That might be why my gravity is a bit high. Could very well be. liters 0.5 so we're pretty damn close by the time we put our yeast in we're going to uh, hit the money and this is sanitized so I can do this Right. 
and obviously I've sanitized this wand. This is a probably not as charged up as it could be. That's 21 litres. Awesome. We hit our target um, uh, volume. And I have a heat belt on there permanently. Switched on. That is all I do there, and in the airlock, need a little water. And that is done. Now I'll set this to degrees just to kick it off and I'll drop it back a bit later on uh, see it says 17.9 at the moment 18 it's just been attached so it's climbing so Just got to clean up my boil pot and uh, clean out my muslin bag with the hops in. And uh, we should do a taste uh, taste test video on this one. And uh, thank you, Jared, for the recipe. And he's brewed my black IPA, which I know he's going to enjoy because it's a freaking fantastic beer. And uh, anyway, over and out.